between 2016 and 2020, Indian defense was the main recipient of Russian arms, accounting for 23% of the total arms import. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, 49.4% of India's arms imports between 2016 and 2020 were from Russia, and in the previous five years, Russia accounted for 69.6% of India's total arms imports. While India's arms imports from Russia have fallen from $3.85 billion in 2013 to $969 million in 2020, Russia continues to be India's biggest defence supplier. The defence business between the two countries is strong, with contracts worth over $15 billion in the pipeline. Several Indian defence deals are vulnerable to sanctions under a 2017 US law including the $5.4 billion contract for five long-range ground-to-air S-400 Triumph missile systems, the deliveries of which began in November last year. The air defence capability of India will be significantly enhanced with the induction of this system. The US has previously objected to this purchase. Besides this, India signed a $3 billion contract in 2019 to lease a Russian nuclear attack submarine for 10 years, starting 2025. Further, the Indian Air Force wants to buy and upgrade 21 MiG-29 fighter jets lying unused in Russia for about a billion dollars. It's also considering a new contract to buy 18 Sukhoi-30 MKI fighters for over $800 million. A $2 billion deal for joint production of 200 Kamov 226 t light helicopters, the $4 billion purchase of four stealth frigates, of which two are to be built in India, are also underway. Defence expert and Business Standard columnist Ajay Shukla tells us what the threat of US sanctions mean for India's defence procurement deals with Russia and the options that India has. Uh, well, the sanctions uh, uh, primarily stem from a legislation called Katsa, countering America's adversaries through the use of sanction that was passed by uh, the United States uh, when it wanted to exert pressure on Russia. Uh, and basically what it amounts to is that any country entering into arms deals or intelligence cooperation with Russia, Iran or North Korea uh, would face uh, sanctions from, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, America. Uh, so India is now uh, on the verge of signing several deals with, uh, the, with uh, Russia, uh, the biggest of which is... Uh, the S-400 air defense missile system. Uh, and there is an apprehension that the United States could invoke sanctions on India uh, if India deals with uh, Russia today. And, uh, you know, India has several major deals going, whether in the realm of submarines, whether in the realm of uh, fighter aircraft, whether in the realm of uh, you know, uh, cooperation in, in sort of uh, overhauling equipment and so on. And each one of these things is subject to sanctions now. So India could find itself with the bulk of its uh, weaponry and arsenal uh, vulnerable to sanctions from America just because they are dealing with the Russians on that. Well, India can mitigate them, uh, but the way to mitigate sanctions is not to deal with Russia. Uh, and that is what the United States wants. Uh, it, theoretically, uh, India could very well go along with that, but that doesn't uh, sort of conform with our doctrine of strategic autonomy. Um, the other way India could uh, uh, sort of uh, bypass sanctions uh, is by sort of convincing the United States in, uh, in talks uh, that it, is, it has been dependent on Russian weaponry for a long time. Uh, that dependency is becoming less and less. Uh, so therefore, the United States as a, as a major defense partner of India uh, should not be interested in weakening India by invoking and placing sanctions on India. Meanwhile, the center is reportedly planning to strengthen the rupee-ruble trade agreement with Russia after the US and its Western partners decided to cut off several Russian banks from the SWIFT financial messaging system that facilitates cross-border payments. Trade in the rupee-ruble account has increased many-fold since the Narendra Modi government assumed office in 2014. Western sanctions on Russian banks could also disrupt India-Russia trade, particularly fertilizers that are crucial for India's vast agriculture sector.
If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.